Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to be comparing the fake BR Reveler against uh, the real one. So, uh, before we do that, I'm just going to do a little update on when I installed it. Put the interior back together. Uh, I tucked everything. And it's not a nest of wires anymore, so let me show you that. And then we'll get into the comparison of the two Revelimeters I bought. Alright guys, here it is. You can see, glove box is back in. I'm missing my handle. I actually, uh, when I got the car, it was locked. I drilled it out and it never worked. So, I took it apart and now I just pull that little lever on the side it opens. But, carpet's back together, center console's back together. I have the, the controller sitting right here. It's, it's not connected to anything. I, um, get a pillar gauge for my gauges. So, once those are removed, I'm going to be putting the rev limiter in there. I got underneath the driver's side all cleaned up. No more wires dangling. So yeah, now we'll get into the comparison. Alright guys, so we're in my car now. I already made a video of the comparison and I lost it. So I'm going to have to do it inside the car because I'm not going to uninstall this. It's a pain in the ass. got to take off the glove box and go through all this center console. But as you can see, they're pretty similar. Pretty much the same dimension. So, first things I noticed is that the lettering on the fake one is a lot crappier than the real one. <laughs> the real one, the le the white lettering is a lot more crisp. Uh, the R is a lot more crisp. Uh, the fake one, the R is a little bit blotchy around the corners, and you can tell it's it's not the same. Check that. But I mean, these letters look pretty close. It's just these ones. It, it's almost like the the color is more uh, full in this. All right, so go to the side. You notice that uh, the real one has these two little tabs. This is I, I believe this is to pop off the case to get to the circuit board. And this one does not have it. Back side looks the same. And the wires, if you notice, these ones are a lot smaller. They're shrink tube around all of it. And this one doesn't have anything. It's just sticking out of the case. These are, I, I cut these, so don't pay attention to that. Another thing I noticed is that the lettering on the fake one, which is on the top, is a lot shorter than the real one. On the bottom, the letters are a little bit taller. These these letters look pretty much the same. It's just the bottom one looks more um, more crisp. These ones are a little bit thicker. Um, and also, you notice that this light is clear, and the real one is like orangish red. So now on the bottom, I already took out these four screws on the fake one, or the three screws. Sorry. I already took out the three screws, got the one in, so I can take it apart later and show you the inside. On this one, it has the four screws also, but they're in different locations. This one, it's not in a perfect square like this one. It has an offset screw. And these screws don't actually hold this case together. It actually holds the circuit board to this bottom case. These ones actually hold the case together. I'll show that in the next clip when I take this apart. I won't take this apart because I don't want to break it. And I'm not entirely sure on how to take it apart. But I've installed it and I know it works. So when I take this apart, I'll show a picture of this circuit board that I found on the internet. And the next thing I noticed is that this wire that comes out, this is like a really glossy, thick wire. Uh, it's like a wire coating. This one's more of like a matte, it has like a texture feel to it. And it says, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But it says, Kyokuto Densen Kogio. And this one doesn't have anything on it. Also, 
the fake one, they'll come with one connector on the red, I believe, on the red wire, and the rest won't have any connectors. I think if you buy the real one, they come with bullet connectors. I'm not entirely sure about that. I got this second hand, so I use my own connectors. Use the same ones as these. The next thing is I notice. Oh, the next thing is you can notice that the buttons. Uh, you probably can't see it, but the switches on the fake one on top are blue. Yeah, you can't see it. And the black one or the bottom ones are black. And another detail is that the fake one, th these knobs have little uh, ridges on them. They're a lot more distinct than the real ones. The real ones, the knobs are a little bit smoother. These buttons don't really click in the place as well as these ones. And the real ones, the click is more, it's louder. So, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but... That's the fake one. This is the real one. Also, another weird thing I've noticed is that the fake one feels... Well, first of all, it feels lighter than the real one. Not by much, but you can tell this one just feels like, I don't know, sturdier. This one, it feels fake. And if you tap it, it sounds hollow because the circuit, there's nothing in there. So, it's a higher pitch. It's, it's solid. It doesn't echo as much. So, there's a lot more, there's a lot more stuff going on in here. So, Okay, so, alright, so here's the fake rev limiter, uh, it has four screws on the bottom, I already took those out, and the real one, these four screws, have nuts on the other side that um, hold the circuit board down, and I, this one just holds the case together. So there's a circuit board, it just comes out pretty easy. And so, as you can see, the circuit board's not as intricate as uh, the real one. I'll have that attached to the screen somewhere around here. But, um, yeah, the fake ones have blue knobs. Uh, I believe the real ones have shrink tube on these three wires right here that come all the way into the case because I'm on the real one it has the shrink tube out to here um, well I guess what's wrong with these is that this one of these circuit boards I'm not or not circuit boards but one of these chips I'm not sure which one but it's programmed and it's not programmed correctly or it's not programmed for some vehicles to work off of it I've heard some people using these fake ones and it working for their car but in my personal experience it has not worked for me so yeah fake one blue knobs no shrink tube uh, simple circuit and it's not bolted to the actual case so that's it for this small little video uh, subscribe, like, stick around. Once the winter's gone, we'll be doing some more projects, more um, DIY stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.